What's going on guys? TZ Champ here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves, I believe is the name of the movie. Um, and I'm going to give my review on it. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into this. So this movie was honestly super fun. I watched it last night. I also watched the John Wick movie as well. So that video is coming out right after this one. Um, that movie is actually very fun. I'm not going to lie. It had a, a nice mix between comedy and story and seriousness and all that kind of stuff. And I honestly, I think that's what it should have had. So if any of you have ever actually played a Dungeons and Dragons campaign before, then you would understand that um, there's so much comedy in these things. Um, because I mean, it's all like a it's a fantasy RP type scenario. You can do a lot of things, and if your DM and stuff that you're playing with uh, allows, you know, cert like a little leniency with the rules you can have some very fun encounters so i thoroughly 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 enjoyed the movie um i won't say it's perfect there were some issues there you know um that were kind of obvious um one of the things that i was struggling with was the vfx the vfx uh were they weren't terrible, okay? They weren't terrible. But there were a couple of moments that I've noticed that it was kind of not the best. Um, and only I can only recall one thing about it that I have an issue with. Um, everything else was great in my opinion, what I had an issue with is like, all right, so at, it's more towards the beginning. There's a character who uses a lightning spell or cantrip. And when they shoot the lightning from their hands, it slow mows it and stuff. And when it does, it doesn't look good at all for animation sake and for VFX sake. Um, so it that's my only that's my only critique my only critique the story is honestly it's i wouldn't call it basic but it's a it's a very semi plain kind of you know thing and right away at the beginning it hits you with some of the comedy so you know that it's going to be pretty funny um and also it helps you kind of uh, place the people, like what roles they're going to be playing as uh, very early on when you meet them, which is also pretty cool. Um, but overall, it's, it's really fun. It's a really fun movie to watch. I enjoyed it a ton. Um, I would say vis visually, for the most part, it's very pleasing. As I said, there was that one critique about some... VFX. Uh, there's also one other scene where it's very, very obviously like green screen, green screen or blue screen. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, it's just um, it was a little bit more obvious than you might hope for. Um, other than that, the movie itself looks very crisp and nice. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, as I've said like three or four times now. Um, it was just an overall, it was a fun movie. If you're a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, you're going to love this movie. If you are ever wanting to like get into Dungeons and Dragons and you're kind of curious to know what it's like, this movie's not necessarily going to help you with that, but it'll help you understand the storytelling aspects of it. Because that's all a Dungeons and Dragons game is. It's all about storytelling and the different adventures that you can come across. And some of the crazy stuff that happens in this particular uh, movie is kind of like how things go. Like, there's an instance where they go into 
they go in and there's this trap and then this guy tells them exactly what path to take and while he's ex- busy explaining it one of the characters steps on it and sets off the trap immediately and they all just kind of look at him like did you not just listen to a word that i just said and it's literally that's that's kind of how like D stuff goes um it's really it's really funny it's got some very 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 good and funny moments so honestly um this might sound a little crazy I would I would give it a rating. So for my rating for this movie, I would rate this a 9 out of 10. Um, the only reason I would not give it a 10 is because I feel like some of the pacing... No? Actually, no. The pacing was actually fairly well, um, for the most part. Uh, honestly, I I think I can't think of anything that I didn't like about the movie, like at all. Like I said, I had that one critique. Um, dialogue seemed fine. It seemed like all the actors and actresses were having fun with their roles. Um. You know, I say I say nine out of ten, but honestly, I th- it might be a ten out of ten. I I really like the movie a lot. Um, I mean, there's some stuff I wish that I had seen more of. Um, we'll, we'll get we'll go nine out of ten. We'll 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 stick with my original thing. We'll say nine out of ten because. I there was some stuff that I wanted to see more of that they weren't they didn't really showcase a lot of um that i wish they had for instance the the bard um i was hoping to see like some bardic inspiration stuff happen in fights and it didn't happen um i was hoping to see like you know just a a couple of more like in-depth things that actually happens in D stuff and i didn't see all of that so it is D and D. It is Dungeons and Dragons, but it's not fully Dungeons and Dragons, if that makes sense. But I will say there's a very much possibility that they could make a second one, given the success of this one. So I would love to see a second one, and I really do hope that they come out with a second one because this movie was really, really, really fun to watch, and I loved it. It was only two hours and like fifteen minutes long. And I, I could have sat there and watched three hours worth of this movie. It was so fun. Um, I enjoyed it an absolute ton. Um, so apart from that, yeah, the rating stands at a 9 out of 10 just because... I'll give it a 9.5. Like 9.5 or a 10 out of 10. It is literally up to speculation at this point. I can't decide if I want to give it a perfect score or a slightly less perfect score, honestly, because I really loved the movie. Um, it was fun. Um, but because they didn't highlight some of the stuff that I would have liked to have seen more as someone who played Dungeons and Dragons before, um, that's why I was wanting to give it a nine. But honestly, I think it was really good. So yeah, nine, 9.5 or 10. I'll let you guys decide. Watch it for yourself, and then you decide. Let me know in the comment section below. If you've already seen it, let me know what you would give it. Because I thoroughly enjoyed it, so I'm having a very hard time determining what I want to rate it. Because, as I said, I know it's not a perfect movie, but I also can't think of anything I hated about the movie. (laughs) So... With that being said, I hope you've all enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on my socials, links in the descriptions down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.